My name is Alfred Kloss, graduated from DeSales University, and I was a part of the inaugural esports team at DeSales University. To define esports, it's a very broad term. It refers to any professional video gaming. That could be the world's most popular game, which is League of Legends, all the way down to even some games that you can play on your phone have esports scenes behind them. Competitively, I play League of Legends, um, but I have played other esports viable games such as Overwatch, Counter Strike, but I never played those competitively, only for fun. Uh, we play as a team pretty much every day. Uh, we'd practice together every day. Um, we played as a team in competition. We would play, we'd have a game at least every Saturday, some, tight. some weeks we'd have uh, two games a week. When it comes to setup, uh, esports is very unique in the way that not everyone has to be at the same location. We've never once played against opponents who were physically right in front of us. At the sales, we were lucky enough to have our own arena, so all five of us on the league team would sit together and play together, and we do feel like it helped our cohesion as a team. Most professional players are chosen by privately owned teams that are sponsored by things like MasterCard and all these big names. They'll be scouted in this area and brought to competitive play. So it's very difficult. You have to make up your mind to be one of the best and actively pursue it. In most cases, as much if not more than you would for an actual like traditional sport. It's here to stay, and if you're interested in it, just go for it. Worst case, you play some games and have some fun.